help me become a better AYSO coach. Okay, will you please? so what do you need? What do you need? Well, I'll tell you. Um, I, I, I coached a bunch of seven-year-olds last year. Uh, now my youngest son uh, started this year. Mm -hmm. He's five, a mm -hmm. bunch of five-year-olds. So here are the three rules I tell them. You tell me if, if, if I'm on to something here, okay? I tell them three rules. One, have fun. Good one. That's number one. That's the number one all the time. Number two is respect your opponents. Oh, that's a great one. Well, because these five-year-olds, they're just like, we scored. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Well, because they Can't see the that. pros do it. Yep, that's a good one. Okay. And the third one is celebrate with your teammates. Those are don't, great. Don't run away from them. Yes. You know, like I scored and you're running or like you're Christian late and you just great. beat, you know, Kentucky. It's pointing to each other like you just passed me the ball. Yeah, high five and hug. Those are really good ones. Yes. Those are those are not only good like team building, okay. but those are good like individual like personal tenets good. that like these kids need to have is like not just to be so self-inclined, but to be other minded. Okay. Here's a fourth one. Please. And it's for the parents. Okay. If you start to get crazy and you're running up and down the sidelines and you're yelling at the kid, mm -hmm. your kid or somebody, other kid, you're, I'm going to videotape you and I'm going to put you on my Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> a, th a threat of social media yeah, as, a, as a check. Straight up blackmail. Just straight up blackmail the parents. They can sign a contract, whatever. This is actually from my agent, Dan Levy. He... He did this at one of his kids' athletic events. Like one of the parents. How, were going old, crazy. How, how old is his kid, though? Um, no, so my agent, mm -hmm. his kid must have been ten. Okay. I don't even know. Because once you get up, I mean, five. I, I haven't run into so, five. I, they're just like, yeah. Well, I kind of get the look like my kid's coming out again. I'm like, well, you know, I've got some other kids that need to get in. Right. That's, I get they've that. been sitting on the bench. I get the looks a little the, bit. Well, you know, you, know, you just got to do your thing, and if they start getting rowdy videotape them film them tweet and then and then tweet it or just like show it like just you can always blackmail them through through like putting it on your show it's a threat totally it's a total threat totally have there been any helicopter parents even at your stage of i think championship it, I think, quality i think at our level soccer? i think at our level like we're like we're grown adults right so parents wow. don't really get involved but you know you, you'll see it in college parents like go and want to meet with the coach and whatnot mm -hmm. and all that's doing is just like not only making your kid worse mm -hmm. parent um but it's also embarrassing them and that will just cause massive years and many 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 hundreds of dollars in psychoanalyzing later down in later in life for all, all of us i love it i get coaching tips ayso coaching tips from abby wambach what about you coaching you ever think about that um yes i think about it and i'll probably do what you're doing and it's just coach Little the little kids. That's it. Yep. Because normally the goats that I get to hang out with, um, like Dion, like world time all time greats like you are, they don't have they they suffer they don't suffer fools gladly. Mm -hmm. The number of times that although Dion does he he youth he does coach youth he coaches kids down in Texas. But yeah. when he watches an NFL game and somebody does something stupid, he said he would cut him on the spot coming right. back. Like he's not cut out right. for that. Would you I would agree probably, with that? I would probably ride in that. I don't think I have the patience um, to break things down and, and, or I'm, I'm just, it's still so new for mm -hmm. me to be out and away from the game that I need to have a little bit more distance. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I would be even good at coaching. You know, like I know that I have leadership qualities um, with like a collective group of people that we could have fighting for the same idea and goal. But I don't know. I don't I don't know. I I feel like I would want to do it for more fun rather sure. than like a job. And like that to me is like five to ten year olds like, hey, like mm -hmm. let's get together. Let's go outside. Let's be active and enjoy this as much as possible. Well, I just know, as somebody who coaches AYSO soccer and wants to make sure that everyone has fun, um, I just know that if I ever looked up and I saw you on the opposing sideline, it would be a different day for me. <laughs> Wait well, a minute, that's Abby Wambach <laughs> coaching against me today. Well, I they don't even my... know the four or five-year-old, you know, the five-year-olds don't even know who I am. Well, yeah, you'd be surprised. Maybe yours does. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.